Hi, I'm Megan Hamrock, and I'm going to be talking about phytonutrients and what we can learn about nutrition from the colors of food. The produce aisle at the grocery store pops with color. The greens of kale and broccoli, the blues and purples of berries and eggplant, the reds of peppers and apples, the yellows of squash and corn, the whites of onions and mushrooms, and so much more. The colors of food provide more than just aesthetic value. Different colors also represent a diversity of unique plant nutrients that provide benefits to human health. These unique plant nutrients are called phytonutrients, secondary metabolites naturally derived from plants that support life and offer protection, both innately in plants and for the humans that eat those plants. Because just like humans look for protection from diseases, plants look for protection from pathogens, UV light from the sun, predators, and more. More than 25,000 phytonutrients have been discovered. Major classes of phytonutrients include polyphenols, carotenoids, glucosinolates, and other bioactive plant compounds such as plant pigments. The human body needs phytonutrients differently than it needs macronutrients, which includes proteins, carbohydrates, and lipids, and micronutrients, which includes both vitamins and minerals. Phytonutrients are often described as non-nutritive and non-essential, both of which are true, technically speaking. You see, macronutrients and micronutrients are nutritive and essential. Every second, the body pulls from its stores of macro and micronutrients just to keep our eyes open and our blood pumping. We replenish those stores with breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And if your body was suddenly depleted of protein or carbohydrates or lipids or vitamins and minerals, you wouldn't be here. You could not function if you ran out of essential macro or micronutrients. So to minimize the risk of disease in your foreseeable future, you need both phytonutrients and macro and micronutrients to keep your body healthy. Other words you may hear synonymously with phytonutrient may be phytoactive or phytochemical. While these three terms are often used interchangeably, many experts may also consider their definitions to have small distinctions from each other. So for the purposes of this video and education from holisticmatters.com, we'll think of phytochemical as the plant compound as it's naturally found in plants as a secondary metabolite phytonutrient as the compound after it's been consumed in a meal, and phytoactive as the adjective we use to describe a phytonutrient's activity in the human body. So to keep it simple, we'll just use the word phytonutrient going forward. Many Americans don't eat enough fruits and vegetables and subsequently don't get enough phytonutrients in their diet. The National Center for Health Statistics estimates that just three to 12% of Americans meet fruit and vegetable intake recommendations. Phytonutrients act as antioxidants, which means they provide electrons to free radicals in the body. Free radicals are on the hunt for electrons and won't think twice about stealing them from other proteins or nutrients. Antioxidant phytonutrients offer an electron sacrifice, protecting the body's nutrients and minimizing damage to cells from oxidative stress. The different colors of food are associated with various phytonutrient profiles, and many foods may contain more than one color. For example, green foods like Brussels sprouts, kale, and Swiss chard contain phytonutrients like chlorophyll, isoflavones, and isothiocyanates. Black foods like Spanish black radish and cloves contain phytonutrients like tannins and saponins. White foods like garlic, mushrooms, and onions contain phenolic acids, flavanols, and allicin. Yellow and orange foods like carrots, citrus, and sweet potato contain beta-carotene, curcumin, and bromelain. Purple and blue foods like blueberries, red cabbage, and cranberries contain anthocyanidins, still beans, and resveratrol. Red foods like beets, cherries, and tomatoes contain lycopene, nitrate, and beta-cyanins. The brown foods like beans, cocoa, and oats contain lignans, beta-glucans, and theobromine. This is why many professionals may advise eating as many different fruits and vegetables from different color groups in the diet as possible. I'm going to spend just a few minutes going over some major phytonutrients and their potential health associations. Again, the body needs phytonutrients differently than it needs macro and micronutrients, and the research connecting phytonutrients with various health conditions is still growing. For now, we'll cover health benefits linked to various phytonutrients in existing research studies. 
First, I want to describe a few different groups of phytonutrients, which vary in their chemical structures and associated health benefits. Polyphenols, named for their organic chemistry makeup, consist of multiple phenol compounds, a phenol group bonded to a hydroxy group. Multiple phenol groups become a polyphenol. A polyphenol may also be described as a phenolic. Classes of polyphenols include flavonoids, still beans, phenolic acids, lignans, and others. Flavonoids are secondary plant metabolites with a polyphenolic structure. Subclasses of flavonoids you may recognize include flavones, isoflavonoids, anthocyanins, chalcones, flavanols, flavanols, and flavanones. Flavonoid activity is regarded as antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, anti-mutagenic, and anti-carcinogenic. Additionally, Flavonoids are associated with modulation of key cellular enzyme functions. About 6,000 flavonoids are known as components of colorful plant pigments. Still beans are polyphenols with high bioavailability and neuroprotective activity. Resveratrol is found in grapes, chocolate, wine, and cranberries, making still beans a personal favorite category of mine. In general, still beans are known to promote a healthy anti-inflammatory response with benefits supporting longevity. They are strong antioxidants, and research associates them with beneficial NRF2 activity. Phenolic acids are polyphenols with one carboxylic acid group, and they are found in a wide range of fruits and vegetables. Like other polyphenols, phenolic acids are antioxidants. They are also linked to antimicrobial and anti-cancer activity, as well as numerous other health benefits. Lignans have a steroid-like chemical structure. Lignans are associated with antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, and anti-tumor activity, as well as with balancing metabolic and hormonal systems. Lignans are often found in sesame and flax seeds, as well as other seeds, grains, fruits, and vegetables in lower concentrations. Another class of phytonutrient is the carotenoids. Carotenoids are associated with yellow-orange pigments in fruits and vegetables. Carotenoids can also be found in dark green plant foods, although the green chlorophyll pigments mask the yellow-orange of the carotenoids. Three specific carotenoids, alpha-carotene, beta-carotene, and beta-cryptoxanthin, are thought of as pro-vitamin A compounds that can be converted to have vitamin A activity in the body. These carotenoids differ from preformed vitamin A, or retinoids, because retinoids are already biologically active and need no conversion in the body. There are more than 600 known carotenoids, and among them are lycopene, lutein, and zeaxanthin. Provitamin A carotenoids act as antioxidants, like many other phytonutrients and vitamins. Carotenoids like lutein and zeaxanthin have been frequently studied for their antioxidant activity. This is specifically in relation to a reduced risk of age-related macular degeneration, which is a chronic eye condition where retinal tissue deteriorates and leads to blind spots and blurred vision. Lutein and zeaxanthin concentrations are up to 1,000 times higher in the macula of the eye than in any other tissue. The carotenoid lycopene, which is commonly found in tomatoes, has been studied frequently for its role in reducing the risk of prostate cancer, among other health conditions. Lutein, zeaxanthin, and lycopene have all been researched for potential beneficial effects on heart health, mainly for their potential to inhibit oxidation of low-density lipoprotein, which is often associated with that bad cholesterol and increased risk of heart conditions. Glucosinolates are sulfur-containing compounds associated with cruciferous vegetables like broccoli, kale, and Brussels sprouts. Glucobrassicin, gluconastertian, and glucoraffinin are three types of glucosinolates. Glucoraffinin is hydrolyzed into its bioactive isothiocyanate form, sulforaphane. Sulforaphane is known for its antioxidant activity and induction of phase two enzymes important for detoxification. Glucosinolates in general are often studied for their potential to support cardiovascular health and detoxification processes with antioxidant activity. Other bioactive plant compounds include pigments like chlorophyll and betalins. Chlorophyll is a green pigment found in plants that benefits the plant through supporting photosynthesis and may have unique health benefits for humans who consume those plants. Betalins, including betacyanins and betaxanthins, are plant pigments associated with red and yellow colors. 
unlike anthocyanins, which are also associated with red pigment, betalins contain nitrogen, among other structural and chemical differences. First classified in the early 2000s, betalins are known for specific antioxidant activity, such as inhibition of lipid peroxidation. They've also been researched in the context of inflammation, atherosclerosis, hypertension, cancer, and other health conditions. Now that you've seen just a snapshot of what scientists know about the beneficial phytonutrients found in plants that we eat every day, you can more than understand why famous quotes like, an apple a day keeps the doctor away is an understatement, and let food be thy medicine is underrated. Fruits, vegetables, and whole grains are an essential part of the diet for all of the macro, micro, and phytonutrients they provide. Challenge yourself to make your plate as colorful as possible at mealtime. The more natural, plant-based colors, the better. For more information about phytonutrients and the colors of food, visit holisticmatters.com. This educational platform has a diverse assortment of material, including articles on specific nutrients and a variety of health and wellness topics, animated videos and lectures from industry experts, monthly podcast episodes, infographics available for download, and more.